Be sure to follow us on TikTok at MysticSage1 for daily anime content. I have been waiting so long to talk about this character. If you've been following Mystic Sage for a while, then you should know full well that Itachi Uchiha is one of my favorite characters. Not just in Naruto, but anime as a whole. I would honestly even go as far as to say, Itachi is one of the most powerful characters in the Naruto-verse. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I love Itachi. I'll be covering his accomplishments, jutsu, and his overall combat prowess. With that said, let's just hop into this. Itachi Uchiha is one of the most skilled members of the Uchiha clan who ever lived. Itachi comes from a bloodline filled with talent and immense potential, and if anyone properly inherited the Uchiha genes, it definitely was him. Itachi was the firstborn son to Makoto and Fugaku Uchiha. As a four-year-old child, Itachi saw his first look at bloodlust as the Third Shinobi War was waged. He even killed the ninja after he saved his life. This ninja was a chunin from the stone village, and Itachi just slashed him like that. Itachi was always considered extremely gifted and even considered as a genius. At the age of five, he became good friends with Shisui Uchiha, and they trained together often. At the age of six, he enrolled in the ninja academy and demonstrated skill beyond any other student his age, even mastering shuriken jutsu. After four months at the academy, he graduated. Itachi then joined Team 2 as a genin and went on typical missions. Eventually, his team was in charge of guarding the feudal lord of the Land of Fire. However, their convoy had been attacked and Tenma Izumo, who was on Itachi's team, had perished. After that death and at the age of 8, Itachi awakened his Sharingan. After a few years of being a genin, Itachi grew more and more and mastered more ninjutsu. Eventually, Itachi became a chunin at the age of 10. Shortly after, at the age of 11, Itachi became a part of the Anbu Black Ops. Joining the Anbu as a child was never heard of and was a great source of pride for Itachi's family. His father saw him as proof for the clan's future prosperity, and his younger brother Sasuke looked up to him a lot. In the shadows though, a coup d'etat was in the works, and Itachi worked as a double agent to the third Hokage and Leaf Village Council. He wanted a peaceful solution, but eventually it became clear that that would more than likely not happen. Both he and Shisui were betraying the Uchiha, and they shared this guilt together. Eventually though, Danzo had come to attack Shisui, stealing his right eye. With little to no options left, he entrusted his other eye to Itachi and died after. Itachi, suffering the loss of his best friend, awakened his Mangeko Sharingan. His clan accused him of killing Shisui, and Itachi, angered by this, attacks them. There is definitely a huge divide between him and the rest of the Uchiha at this point. When he turned 12, he was promoted to Anbu Captain, but to the public side, it was actually 13, with the request of Danzo and the third Hokage's acceptance. At this point, Hiruzen wanted to still keep peace with the Uchiha, but Danzo insisted that peace could no longer be attained. At that point, Itachi was given a choice to either join the coup and have the entire clan wiped out, including Sasuke, or kill the entire clan himself with being able to spare his little brother Sasuke's life. Before the slaughter though, Itachi ran into a masked man and then made an offer to him. This masked man was allegedly Madara Uchiha. He would help Madara wipe out the Uchiha if Madara would spare the village. He agreed. Itachi and Madara, aka Tobi, wiped out the entire Uchiha clan with the exception of Sasuke. Sasuke sees everyone in his village wiped out and questions Itachi why he did it. Itachi replies, become like me and come kill me someday, showing his Mangeko Sharingan and putting him into a hellhole pit. Sometime later, Itachi joined the Akatsuki. He also meets his partner, Kisame Hoshigaki. Orochimaru, also in the Akatsuki, catches wind of this and attempts to steal Itachi's body. Being one of the three legendary Sanin, Orochimaru is confident that he can, but he greatly underestimated Itachi, trapping Orochimaru in a Sharingan Genjutsu. Itachi made one of the most renowned ninja beg for his life and have to be rescued by Kabuto. After this encounter, Itachi helps recruit Orochimaru's replacement, Deidara. Itachi defeated his art pretty easily with his Sharingan's Genjutsu. Some years later, Itachi would come back to the Leaf Village to kidnap Naruto for his nine-tailed chakra. When Itachi and Kisame arrive, they are greeted by Asuma Saratobi, Kurenai, and Kakashi. Itachi single-handedly fought all of them and won, even putting Kakashi in a Tsukiyomi void. 
Kakashi felt like he was trapped forever, going through endless pain that he thought was real. Three Jonin couldn't even put a dent in Itachi, and these were also within the top five Jonin easily from the Leaf Village. After escaping that fight, Itachi and Kisame find Naruto and nearly kidnap him. Sasuke shows up as well to stop Itachi, but he's pushed against the wall and is told to get stronger. They would have been successful had it not been for Jiraiya. Jiraiya attempts to trap Itachi and Kisame in the belly of the Fire Toad. However, this plan is foiled by Itachi using Amaterasu to escape. Three years later, we find ourselves in Shippuden. During that time, Itachi developed a sickness and is on the verge of losing his eyesight due to using the Mangeko Sharingan all the time. With that said, him and his brother Sasuke fight a match to the death, and eventually, Itachi dies. I am with the position that had Itachi not been sick, he would have won that match easily. Even after Sasuke using his Karin attack, Itachi still survived. Using the Susano also put a strain on him. Itachi is still definitely stronger than Sasuke at this point. He just wanted to make amends for what he had done. Eventually, Sasuke learns the truth about his brother, and we learn what Itachi really wanted. This is what made me love Itachi even more. I saw him as a very trivial villain, and was just enamored with his talent in badassery. To learn he was the good guy the entire time truly blew my mind. Towards the Fourth Great Shinobi War, Itachi was reanimated, and we learn that he had shoved Shisui's eye in the Naruto. He helps Naruto take out a reanimated Nagato, and eventually he and Sasuke team up to take on Kabuto. They both work together and eventually defeat him. As Itachi fades away, Itachi says to his brother, I will love you always. With that said, that put the icing on the cake. Itachi played a double agent, his combat prowess is unmatched, and he still wanted to protect his little brother no matter what. Not to mention, his story is completely genius. They turned a guy who killed his entire clan into a hero. Imagine if he would have been Hokage. Legit, he could have been one of the most powerful Kage of his time. With that said, that's why I love Itachi Uchiha, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Itachi is the best character in the Naruto verse, and I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. Anywho though, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm Mystic Sage, and I will see you in the future for more awesome anime content and Naruto content. Before the video closes out, I just want to thank you so much for your support during this month of July. I'm uploading every day, and with all the different anime I'm covering, I know there's a little bit for everyone. Also, if you want a little more Mystic Sage, head on over to TikTok and check us out over there for more fun, bite-sized anime videos. I've also got an Amazon store where I sell tons of Pokemon and anime merch too, so check it out. For real this time though, thanks again for watching. I'm Mystic Sage, and I'll see you tomorrow with more amazing anime content.